going to be a TV show. Dweebcast. Hey guys, I'm Andy Reesmeyer. Welcome back to Dweebcast. All right, so FX just greenlit a new vampire show called The Strain. According to The Hollywood Reporter, it is going straight to series, so none of this, let's commission a pilot and see if we like it, bullshit. This is happening. Now, now, we know what you're thinking, another vampire show, we need that like we need another zombie show. Now, check it out though. If they do the strain right, this could be very cool and it could change the way we think about vampires. So, here's everything you need to know about the strain. The story's about a nasty virus that gets let loose in New York, turning just about everybody into vampires, which, if you've ever been to New York, might be kind of an improvement. Mm. We kid, we kid, we kid. Not really. So a group of random survivors, two CDC specialists, a pawn shop owner, an exterminator, and some other working class heroes take on these vamps who are horrifically putrid creatures that are real hard to kill. It's cool because the protags are just regular people who have to deal with this epic pandemic before it goes worldwide. The Strain is already a book trilogy created by Gilmore Del Toro and written by author Chuck Hogan. Dark Horse Comics is in the middle of adapting that story into graphic novel form, and Del Toro, as you know, has had some great sci-fi slash horror credits to his name. Even if you didn't like Pacific Rim, and we didn't, you gotta remember the Hellboy movies. Blade 2, Mimic, Kronos, and Pan's Labyrinth. Go watch Blade 2 again. A lot of ideas in there make it into the strain, and it should be enough to make you want to see GDT's original take on vampires. These vampires is gross. All right, when you think of vampires, you usually think of overly sexualized, hissing pretty boys who want to live forever so they can bang as many virgins as inhumanly possible. Believe me, I know. Straight up, the vampires in The Strain, though, are vile. There's nothing sexy about them. The idea is that they're humans infected by a viral worm that transforms them into undead, blood-sucking monsters. Their tongues turn into these six-foot-long stinger things that shoot out of their throats, and that's how they feed and spread the virus that rewrites the host's human DNA. Oh, and why? When they feed, they can't help their asses from exploding at the same time. That's right, for these vamps, Eating and eating happens all at once. And their hair falls out and their genitals atrophy and fall off and their middle finger grows into this nasty talon that, you know, like they kill stuff with. Blech. Most of the classic weaknesses are still there. Ultraviolet light, silver, no garlic though, which makes them pretty tough to kill. The characters. All right, so here are your main characters. A dude named Dr. Ephraim Goodweather. Yeah, not making that one up. He leads a CDC response team in charge of handling viral threats. He'll be played by Corey Stahl in the show. Or Peter Russo. Anyway, he's got a CDC partner slash kind of love interest named Nora Martinez. She'll be played by Mia Maestro. And we got Professor Abraham Citrakian, a Holocaust survivor who dedicates his entire post-World War II existence to wiping out vampires. Not sure who's gonna play the professor in the show. John Hurt was originally cast in the pilot, but FX announces the role will be recast, so stand by on that. We got Vasily Fett, the exterminator turned vampire hunter. He'll be played by Kevin Durand. And mild spoiler here, the big bad boss guy is an ancient vampire called the Master. Deadline reports that Robert Millay will play him. And Empire Online says that Doug Jones, who's in lots of Del Toro movies, has also been cast in an unknown role in the show. Our money says he'll play at least one super disgusting and creepy character. I mean, look at him. The dumbness. So the book series starts out with one of the most tense scenes ever. An airliner lands at JFK in New York. Everybody on board is dead. It's super creepy and mysterious and really cool. The problem is the rest of the trilogy kind of goes downhill from there. Nothing really lives up to that opening scene. So here's hoping the new show will kind of fix all of that. And without spoiling anything to the uninitiated, they're gonna have to change a lot in the story to pull that off. If they do it right, though, the show could eventually be The Walking Dead with disgusting-ass vampires. If they screw it up, it'll be just like most other vampire fiction out there. Dumb. Just dumb. But don't get us wrong, though, this one has a lot of potential to be a really cool new TV series. The show starts filming this month in Toronto, and FX announced it will launch in July of 2014. Anyway, we're pretty excited about this one, but what do you think? You ready for a new vampire show, even if it's totally nasty and nothing like the vampires you thought you knew? Tweet us at Dweebcast, let us know. That's it for us today. Be sure to watch Dweebcast at aura.tv forward slash Dweebcast. Thought-provoking content for the Dweeb and you. As always, I'm Andy Reesmeyer. We'll see you tomorrow. Dweebcast.